police officer could be charged with drunk driving later this week. The officer said the man was resisting arrest. The officer hit him in the head at least twice, but the man tells us he was not resisting, and now he has hired a lawyer. Todd Hicks is here with the latest on this troubling case. Todd? Well, the DA's office is in the process of reviewing that case. Meanwhile, I spoke with one law enforcement expert who spoke to me today about the dangers that police face like they did in a situation in this parking lot last Thursday. And of course, that video that still has everyone on the Internet buzzing. They were techniques used by Milwaukee police to get Jeffrey Strasser to comply with their demands. You're talking about a split second decision that has to be made. Brian Doro, who heads up the criminal justice program at Waukesha County Technical College, says he won't comment on this particular case. But he tells me officers face possible danger with every stop. But you never know who you're going to encounter until you make physical contact with them. Still, Strasser told today's TMJ4 he didn't resist when officers tried to pull him over and officers went too far. I don't want to put that. Happen, you know, is, is not right, but you can't, you know, that's not how you make an arrest and, and uh, you know, kick the out of somebody like that. Stop resisting! Stop resisting! As the video continues to go viral on the internet, Doro says you can't always judge a situation by only what you see. Every situation is unknown. You know, and, and no two situations are alike. And that's why it's so important for officers to rely on their training. Stop resisting! Stop resisting! And Strasser's attorney did not respond to our repeated request to comment on this case today. Now, coming up at 6, I'll have more on those so-called focus strikes that MPD officers say they use on Strasser last Thursday night. And you'll hear more on what they uh, took place on that Thursday night. On your side, reporting live from Water and Juno, Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. It would be nice if we could see a little bit more of what might have been going on just out of camera range beyond that car. Thank you, Todd.